Remember how a couple years ago, link shortener services like Bitly uh, were all the rage? That race has died down a little bit, but link shorteners are still alive and well and still used a ton in, uh, in things like tweets, for example. Link shorteners are also a simple way to, uh, to see how many times a link has been clicked. Apart from taking up fewer characters than regular links, shortened links are, are a simple way to see how many times a link has been clicked. I've put shortened links on ads on my sites to see how many times the ads have been clicked. I currently have a shortened link in my Twitter bio to see how many people click through from there. And I've put shortened links in ebooks to see how much traffic I can get to a site from the ebook. And if you want to do this, if you want to use shortened links to track clicks, I've got two options that I can recommend. The first is probably the most well-known and the one that you've undoubtedly seen and used before. It's called bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y. You'll need to sign up for a free bit.ly account, and then you can make and customize your shortened links. And the best part is that you can log in to the account later and see how many times the link has been clicked, and you won't lose track of the link. The other option I can recommend is Google's link shortening service at goo.gl. You'll need to be signed in with your Google account, but you don't need to make a new account if you already have a Google account. 